hundreds of secondary students from Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New Hampshire came together in January for New England's fifth International Economic Summit. Like a model United Nations, the students represented countries from all over the world. Before the summit, students learned about their country's economy, political structure, imports and exports, natural resources, and other strengths and weaknesses. They engaged in spirited debates, took quizzes, and competed for having the best informational displays and costumes that represented their countries. During lively sessions, they formed alliances, found trading partners, dealt with bankers and with one another in order to improve their country's standard of living. In the end, they scored points and learned what it takes for countries to achieve economic prosperity. I think the energy and the activity levels here and the interactions that they do see here and experience here. I used to work on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange for Goldman Sachs. And I tell you, the energy level here and the activity and interpersonal uh, level of, of, of give and take here will rival that of the New York Stock Exchange. So this is an experiential piece of learning that you can't find elsewhere. Um, my dad's an entrepreneur. Um, so there's like a little bit of the sales background that came into play and that I really enjoyed using, going around making deals, forming alliances, kind of angling, doing all that. Students that have come to the International Economic Summit are learning about a lot of different applications. They're learning about economics, geography, history, even foreign language. And we have a variety of teachers that have come from a variety of subjects to come to bring their students to the summit. So these are, these are lifetime impacts. These are things that an experience in preparing for the summit and learning about the different countries that's going to have an impact on how they view the world and how, types of jobs they want to think about doing later on in life, uh, kinds of careers they'd like to prepare for instead of simply looking at your own neighborhood you begin to look beyond and thinking about the world and uh, so that's a great thing for students to have bring with them. I'm a really big advocate for kids learning about civics and economics because I think that they're two of the subjects that will affect your life personally no matter what. Like there will always be a government that you have to interact with and there will always be an economy that you're part of. So even if you don't want to go into science or you don't want to ever travel the world so don't need to know how to speak Spanish, then you still need to understand how the economy works. They have to learn how to work as a team. They have to learn what's in research, so they do a lot of research work. So we basically tell them where they have to go, but they have to actually do the actual work. And everybody wants to be successful. That's what they all want. And us knowing, like, being, we all want to have something in our backgrounds that, like, shows us that we're unique, we're different from other people. It's about economics, but that's sort of the overlay. What it's really about is kids developing a certain kind of skill set. It's the ability of students to do research. Uh, it's the ability of students to speak persuasively, to write persuasively, to work as a member of a team, to understand within your team who has what skills so that you can give people different jobs. I love the chaos. I love being able to just like interact with all of these people. They're, they're so amazing. They teach you that, you know, without support you can't win a debate and it's fun for me because you run around and we look like chickens but you know, it's fun because there's a purpose. I think it's really important for people to understand the global economy because it does affect our own. Uh, without understanding how it all works, it's kind of hard to like puzzle piece things together. You know, you might understand like, oh, debts, but you also have to think about other things like how did we get there. The most surprising thing I think that students find is that there is a need for them personally in this world. A lot of these students will go on to college, of course, uh, most of them will, and it will impact what they study at college. Whether they study engineering or international finance, this program will be uh, part of their motivation and uh, passion in going to college. After that, um, I'm convinced from several years of watching students that many of them will get into international careers. They will study abroad, they will live abroad, they'll travel abroad, uh, they'll be engaged in global interactions of some kind or another. That's how it will impact them.